prove that limit as n tends to infinity n factorial by n to the power n 1 to the whole to the power 1 by n belongs to 1 by 3 and 1 by 2 how to prove it at first let us take it as a quantity let p is equal to limit as n tends to infinity n factorial by n to the power n whole to the power 1 by n taking logarithm from both sides then ln p will be limit as n tends to infinity 1 by n ln n factorial by n to the power n it can be written as limit as n tends to infinity 1 by n ln of 1 by n 2 by n dot 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 up to n by n so it can also be written as 1 by n properties of logarithm that is ln 1 by n plus ln 2 by n up to ln n by n so it can be written as limit as n tends to infinity 1 by n summation r equals to 1 to up to n ln r by n properties of definitions of integration that is 0 to 1 ln x dx so using bypass rule ln x x that is only uh, x log x differentiation that means x first function integral of the second dx and derivative of the first and integral of the second into integration that means x 0 to 1 so it will be 0 minus 0 it will be 1 So the result will be minus 1 therefore p is equal to e to the power minus 1 that is 1 by e that is limit as n tends to infinity n factorial by n to the power n whole to the power 1 by n is equal to e now we know 2 less than e less than 3 that is 1 by 3 less than 1 by e less than 1 by 2 that is 1 by 3 less than limit as n tends to infinity n factorial by whole to the into the power n whole to the power 1 by n less than 1 by 2 which indicates limit as n tends to infinity n factorial by n to the power n whole to the power 1 by n belongs to 1 by 3 comma 1 by 2 let's back it up let's call open interval of this so we can prove this important uh, results of okay, what problem now today we end discussion thank you